as parents, we find ourselves working to help our children build a sense of independence. We hold them accountable for completing assignments, applying for college, and for handling all the components of attending college. We teach our offspring time management, organization skills, and the importance of living up to the expectations of educators, employers, and themselves. So what can we do when a child shows a pattern of procrastination or avoiding particular tasks? Hi, my name is Margaret Meek, and this is advice for assisting the procrastinating student. As a parent, you might be wondering why your child can't, or maybe won't, stay on top of their responsibilities or why they resist your help when they are clearly struggling. However, if you think back to your own youth, the chances are good that you can remember a time when you behaved similarly, or you might remember a time where procrastination got in the way of something that mattered to you. It's essential to recognize that these issues are a natural part of human development. And sometimes your student is avoiding responsibility because they don't understand the process, are frightened of the outcome, or unconvinced that what they are supposed to do is what's best for them. While your first instinct as a parent might be to instill a sense of urgency by getting even more involved, it might be time to adjust your role from one of active parenting to active mentoring. This means providing steady encouragement while handing over the reins of responsibility to your son or daughter. Naturally, your child will need support and guidance as they take on life decision-making. They will also likely need your help in figuring out how they best operate in the world. Pay attention to your child's demeanor and notice if they are avoiding task completion as a pattern. If it seems they are avoiding a process and can't outline for you exactly what needs to be accomplished, then the chances are that they are hesitating for a reason. Speak with your child and help them figure out exactly what is holding them back. If it is a lack of information, that is a task with which you can assist. Say they are procrastinating on completing their college applications because they don't know what to do or the components of a strong application. You can encourage your child to have that conversation with their high school counselor, the college admissions office, or you can help find resources online. The same is true for any other issue that might be holding them back. Help your student find the resources they need to be successful. Your student might also be dragging their feet because they lack the confidence necessary to tackle the task, or they may not believe that they can be successful. What happens if they complete the job application and the employer won't hire them? How will it feel if they put together a college course schedule that ends up being too big a challenge? At this point, you can help your offspring think through the worst case scenario and the alternatives. Recognizing that each step is not an all or nothing life choice can reduce the stress and help your child understand how they can move forward. One more reason why any of us may put off responsibilities is that we don't want the outcome. If your child is not turning in their college applications, it may be as simple as they don't see themselves attending that particular school or they have a different plan for their future. By allowing them to speak openly about what they are thinking, you may be able to find out the plan they wish to pursue. You can work as a family to support your student as they investigate what they want to do, the viability of their plan, and the steps necessary to complete their plan. As a parent, you can play devil's advocate, set parameters for your own involvement, or that of your money, and you can help establish checkpoints to make sure your young adult is making progress. As you adjust your role to being one of an advocate and mentor, it will help both you and your student to negotiate their next steps. It is helpful for both parent and child to commit to trying a new way of doing things. Be thoughtful about setting expectations. Work on common ground that encourages your child to challenge him or herself to succeed without raising the bar so high that they feel overwhelmed and risk giving up. Once you've talked through expectations, work together to build a support structure for your child. This structure should allow your student to suggest what can be put in place to enable them to become the best learner they can be. 
This does not mean that your child gets carte blanche on when or where they will do their homework. Instead, have a real discussion about the need for change from any previous unproductive habits and empower your child to consider the best time or best place for homework. Have them consider what needs to happen to improve focus, how often to take breaks, what organization tools will help, or how to approach you if they need help or a boost to stay motivated. As a final part of building a support system, set a regular appointment time to check progress together. Having a standing appointment adds a layer of accountability for both of you. This time should be an opportunity to discuss with your student their progress from a mentoring perspective, not to be judgmental. Your child will either be making positive progress or not. Be patient and recognize that they might falter at times. In either case, it is their opportunity to decide what their next steps will be and for you to collaborate on ideas that might help them move forward. Write down any new goals or ideas each time so that you can highlight successes or adjust for challenges. Please note, sometimes the best thing for a parent to do is to let your child work through their issues on their own. They may need to see themselves as making the decisions on their own. They may be working for greater independence and this is their way of pushing the boundaries they think you are constructing. Be willing to be the one who lets this growing adult find their own way. It can be difficult to watch, but it may be exactly what is needed to help your students start answering to their own expectations, not just yours. Facing the things we don't want to do in life and moving forward is a critical component of being an adult. The more you can help your students see the challenges they place in their own way and their rationale for putting tasks off, the more successful they will be in their life. Remember that procrastination is a common occurrence and that it's not a problem specific to your child. If you found this video helpful, hit the like button and perhaps consider subscribing. If you have any questions, let us know in the comments down below.